Hello everyone, Paul here again. In this Pearson tutorial, I am going to be showing you three parts of the data piece to Pearson that make life a lot easier on you by being uh, by making it more efficient um, as far as checking grades, checking the progress of students, and checking the usage, and how that can help you um, pull small groups, and just uh, remind students what they need to do or what they need to finish. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you've already been on your single sign-on. You clicked Pearson, which led you to realize, I know you know the routine, and here you are in your programs. So for me, I am in fifth grade, so I'm gonna pick fifth grade. And then in here, all of our topics, familiar page, we're gonna go to the top where it says data. I'm gonna click there. There's two areas, class results by assignment and class mastery by standard. I'm going to focus on this tutorial with class results by assignment. So I click on there. Now I've already filled in a date range. Um, I put October uh, 1st to November 30th. Make sure if you don't see any uh, bar graphs um, in your uh, scores, progress, or usage, then go ahead up top and make sure that you have a date range in uh, to make sure to, to see the tests or other activities that you've given. Okay, the first thing I'm going to look at very quickly is scores. So in scores, this top box here, if you hover over the bar graph, you'll see that below it, it gives you a description. So if I hover over this bar graph, it shows me topic five, online test, due date, and average class group score. So then if I click onto that bar, it goes down further and it gives me this page. And this page has your students with their score, the standard, and then up top here it lets you know the percentage of students that are scoring above 70%. So that's your standard analysis. If I move over to the next tab to my question analysis, this is the part that I find very efficient. I click on question analysis. Students have taken their test. Um, up top, it gives you a bar graph. Full green means that all students got that question correct. So for example, here's question two. Everyone got it correct because it's all green. If I look at question nine, that has four students, I believe. Yes, four. If I hover over it, you can see it says four incorrect four students who got that incorrect. So that's a question um, that I may want to uh, go over with my students. Um, so I can pull those four students, bring them over and look at the question with them. So look how easy this is. I just scroll down. Um, I know it's question nine. Here it is. And here's my f four students that got it incorrect. Um, now mind you, in this sample size that I made of students, there's only five total students. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, so if I hover over my four that are incorrect, click it. There you have it. You're it's telling you automatically who missed number four. So you can quickly pull them over. Call John, Carl, Julian, Owen over. You can have a quick um, discussion and analysis of the question and try to figure out where they may have had a misstep. So all I have to do is close that. Go back down here to question nine. Just click question nine comes right up for me. Um, the bar here will just give you um, the student. If you want, you can just go ahead and jump to the student that got that incorrect. Either way, the important part is that all four of you are analyzing the question together. And then you can quickly determine, was it a math skill um, that they needed support in? Was it a reading comprehension piece of the actual problem? What was it that they had difficulty doing? Very, very efficient, very quick. I really like that piece. Now, um, if we scroll up, you could go to student analysis as well, this tab here. But in short, it's basically giving you the same thing. So it gives me my students. Um, it gives me which question they got wrong. If I clicked it, then it would show me the question. All right, so now we've done um, that piece of the data. So I'm gonna go back up to the data tab again hit data, and it's gonna refresh me back to this original um, page. Again, I'm gonna focus on class results by assignment. So I just click on there. That was the scores part I was looking at. Now I'm gonna scroll down and 
see progress. This is very clear cut. Instead of having to ask if a student turned something in, instead of trying to shuffle through the papers and figure out who's missing what, basically, again, just hover over the bar that you want. In this one, I want to know uh, digital quick check. It's my first bar. Um, I want to make sure that people are finished with this before maybe they are being dismissed for recess or finishing um, the actual uh, math time. So just go ahead and click on that bar. It's going to open this up. And very simple, it gives you the name, when they turned in the uh, work, if it's completed, and what score they got. So it's very easy for me to um, say, okay, these students here, Damien, John, Will, all these these five he here, um, you need to get started or, or you need to complete your assignment. So I, I'm, it's very, again, efficient for me to understand which students uh, need to refocus on the assignment. I can also then very quickly scroll down in progress. It also gives me a score. I'm going to go back now into data again in the top tab, and I'm going to go to this page once more, class results by assignment. I'm going to scroll down, and our very last uh, part for this specific tutorial will be usage. This one I like a lot as well because, um, well, let me show you. So I'm going to go on to another bar. Um, I'm going to pick online topic test. Uh, if I click with that on, it gives me a time frame. So, and the reason I like this is because um, obviously I, I I did these demo tests, and so the time is is really short. But it does give you a great opportunity to say, okay, look, you know, this is a ten question test, and um, Carl, I don't know what you were doing, but you, you finished it in a minute and thirty two seconds. So now I can start, you know wondering if they rushed through the test um, and then we can then start from there is it you know are you just rushing through for um, to hurry up to get to recess is it because you're frustrated with the content um, you know how this works so again I really find this useful to, to gauge how much time a student is spending on a particular activity or test so once again, click back into data. It'll bring back this page. And that is where I'm going to stop for this tutorial. All right. Thanks a lot and have a good day.